Hi guys, Omar with Overlanding Just Cause. And in this video, I'm gonna do a six month review Ugh, on my Trekway. Mind you, I'm holding this straight out. It weighs about 180 pounds. Ugh, just kidding. So let's set it up. set it up it probably took less than 10 minutes i'm gonna say maybe eight minutes it is supposed it's called an instant tent right some of you guys give me a hard time like that's not instant but you don't have to deal with tent poles and you know just trying to put stuff together and it's literally pop up put the rain fly on connect it to the car click click and you're done so i'm gonna say it took me maybe six to eight minutes um, but again I didn't time myself and I've done it a bunch of times so I've actually gotten fast at it now I want to talk about this area right here so this is obviously the cover uh, there is an inside cover as well which means that you can use this as an awning which is awesome only because you have a if it's raining drizzling whatever you have a dry area right before you get inside the tent uh, which learning from my mistakes that i've made i am always from here on out going to have a little vestibule a little area where i can dry off before actually getting inside the tent so this part is awesome um, it comes with the poles so that you can have your awning but it's not very high so it's like a sitting area underneath or maybe just you know right before you get in take your muddy shoes get your towel dry yourself off before you get in, before you get in so let me go ahead and wrap this up um, i'm not going to use it today i don't need the awning all right let's go in she's trying to get in and she's all dirty all right so this is the inside i've got all the windows open a 10 by 10 or 9 by 9 can't remember what I love about the door is that it has a, a waterproof barrier here so that let's say I want some breeze and then all of a sudden it starts raining all I have to do is zip this one up with the windows behind me and the one over here to the side I don't have that option I actually have to go outside to let the the waterproof down let the uh, let the material down so that it becomes waterproof there's nothing on the inside not a big deal, you know, no one rain is coming, I guess. I'm going to open the barn door, so there we go. I actually have it so tight before opening the barn door, which is the first time I've done that, that, I don't know if you can see up here, but it created a nice and tight uh, ceiling that slants down. So if it did rain, all the water is going to slant down on this side and slant down on that side. And then I have access to the inside of my truck, which again, I don't have it set up as a camper. But if I did, psh, it's always worked awesome. I've got Athena's chew toy so she doesn't chew the rest of my truck up, which she likes to do. Because I have the barn door, it takes away half of the entry as you can see so that's why i left this one closed and this side open so now when i come out close it up close it up close it up no mosquitoes are getting in needless to say i love the tent um i think it works great with the barn door obviously with the tailgate that lifts up it works perfect what i don't like about it so i've had it for six months there are some things I don't like about it. Number one is the material. I feel like the material is very thin. 
and compared to the other tents that I have that I've owned, the material is just thicker. Now it is waterproof and yes, after about five months, I think last month or month and a half, I actually sprayed it with some Scotch Guard, which I do with all my tents after a year of use. Uh, but this one especially, I put a, a little extra scotch on it just because the material is so thin. Now, again, the only time it's actually had water inside is when I've left, the, left this window open. But still, uh, it's a very thin material and I actually have little tear marks. I have one here and I have one here. I don't know if you can see that. These two are the only ones that I've found. And again, I find these, you know, once I get home and I start cleaning it and I start going through it. I've had other customers reach out to me and say that uh, theirs came with holes. Mine didn't come with holes. Those I've done myself either, you know, putting it up or taking it back down. I don't know when, but none at the bottom. I clean the floors every time after I use it and I haven't found any holes yet, but I can see more and more holes happening only because the, the material is so thin. I would say that's, that's my biggest complaint about this tent. Even though the sun's out and I see blue skies, I feel raindrops. We are in the mountains. <laughs> So it's, it's going to happen. I guess the other complaint, if, it, if I had to make it a complaint, was that when it says that it can be, it could go as a standalone tent, I question that. Now, I haven't used it as a standalone tent, but what I have done is set it up just like I did today without setting it up to the truck first and just hammering the stakes down, making it square, making it stand up. It's very flimsy these poles are pretty thin now i get it they have to retract inside each other so it needs to be a thinner material but if this becomes a standalone tent i think in high winds higher winds this would be pretty flimsy so those are my only two true complaints other than that it's been great for me i haven't been camping during a hurricane even though the last time i used it with the gx it did rain a lot there were high winds. It stayed in place, but it did do a lot of we uh, leaning back and forth. So something to think about if you guys decide that you want to go with the Trekway. Anyway, guys, tell me what your thoughts are if you have the Trekway. Um, I still have a discount with Trekway. It's Amazing Adventures. I think it's like 10% off, maybe 20%. I don't know. I haven't checked in a long time, but it's still to this day it still goes so if you can find it you put that code in boom get yourself a trekway um that i think it's 10 percent off actually that's enough to cover taxes i hope i don't steer you in the wrong direction i like the tent i think it serves me and what i do great uh but some of you guys might want something a little bit more durable and i get it i just i don't think this is the most durable tent um Again, I, I, just the material, the poles, and really that's it. I mean, other than that, the whole concept of it, of being able to extend the poles, put the, the uh, rain fly over it, it's, uh, it's golden. All right, guys. Well, if you have any questions about it, please ask, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.